This video is all about why I like spray foam insulation and how I've come to trust it over the years in my own projects. This is some closed cell spray foam that's been put in this roof structure in a project of mine in the, in the walls as well. This is the roof line here. This particular project has four roof windows in it, one next to each other on the, some gables which also have windows. One of the things I really like about spray foam here is that it seals so well around framing structures. And it also has a high R value, in this case about R30, for the, just the roof structure itself. Does it make sense? Is it safe? Yes, I think so, and I want to show you why. When it comes to choosing an insulation approach for your new home or renovation, foam is one of the options. The question is, why would you want to choose foam? Well, first of all, it's got a pretty long track record. The first spray foams were invented during the Second World War. And modern spray foams, as we know them today, have been around since about the 1980s or so. Something that really impresses me about spray foam insulation is its real-world R value. You can take two kinds of insulation products with the same R value, but you can get markedly different energy performance in the real world. Now, why would that be? Well, it comes down to the ability of an insulation to block air. Some insulations can allow drafts and air currents to move through them. Spray foam insulation effectively shuts that down. So what you get is about 150 or 200 percent better energy performance with spray foam than a comparable amount of other kinds of insulation with the same R value. Another unique feature about some kinds of spray foam is that it blocks the passage of water vapor. This is true for closed cell spray foam formulations, and I'll explain more about that later. Effectiveness is one thing, but that doesn't really matter unless you can count on the safety of spray foam, and that's what I want to talk a bit about to you now. I first saw spray foam insulation used in 1988 on a commercial project I was on, and in 2005, I specified it for one of my own projects. It involved my parents-in-law, and they were concerned about safety, so I recommended a water-blown product by a company called Isonine. So what does water-blown mean? Well, all spray foam is made up of a whole bunch of little bubbles that have hardened. Uh, the product initially is a liquid, and something turns that liquid into bubbles, and, and that something is the blowing agent. Well, what they use for the isonine product I specified to make this blowing happen is water-based. That's one reason isonine has a safety track record going back to the 1980s and multiple third-party verification of the safety of their chemistry. So getting back to that project for my parents-in-law from back in 2005, I'll call it Situation A because... It's actually a fairly common situation in cold climates, and it involves the control of frost and the elimination of water damage that frost can create. So imagine you've got uh, an attic situation. Uh, this home that uh, we sprayed was a uh, suburban home with a uh, second story room that led into an unheated storage area off one of the bedrooms. Here's the level between the first and second story, and this is the wall that separates the heated upstairs portion from the unheated storage area. Now, of course, since the storage area is unheated, it's cold during the winter, and there happened to be a door leading into it that was closed almost all the time, but just the same, that warm, heated, fairly moist air got through that doorway and other cracks and trim, and it condensed against the underside of the roof sheathing during cold winter weather. And when that condensation happened, it formed frost. And the longer the cold period, the deeper and thicker the frost became. Now, even a Canadian winter does get warmer and eventually leads to spring. And when outside temperatures rise, the frost melts, and runs down here in the form of water and trickles right through the unfinished floor 
in the storage area and ruins the ceiling. In fact, that happened many times during the, uh, the life of this house before we fixed the problem. The application of foam on the inside of this storage area turned it from a cold space into a heated space. Now, it wasn't heated to the same extent as the rest of the house, but it was heated enough that there certainly wasn't any condensation and no frost, and the leaking problem was solved. Another situation where the unique properties of foam pays off is in what I call a rim joist situation. This always happens around exterior walls where floor joists run and sit on top of those walls. Now, as I said, it only applies to exterior wall situations, whether that's the basement or any above ground wall. But what we've got is the situation here between joists, which can't be properly protected with a polyethylene vapor barrier. Now, foam does a couple of things that are, that are unique here. First, it seals against water vapor infiltration, and it also insulates too, in one go. Closed cell spray foam insulation is really the only option that seals and prevents condensation in rim joist applications in cold heating climates like this. Spray foam insulation is the most sophisticated and skill dependent product of its kind, but there are some specific reasons why I think it's safe and effective and why I use it in projects of my own. The first is performance. I mean, it's certainly not the only kind of insulation product that's going to work well for you, but inch for inch, it packs an awful lot of insulation and sealing value into what it delivers. Second is its unique combination of qualities. In addition to providing insulation value, it also blocks the movement of air, keeping out drafts, and in the case of closed cell insulation, water vapor too. The third reason I like spray foam is that it has a proven track record. It's uh, been around for multi-decades. There are different formulations, it's closely scrutinized, and it works. And finally, safety. Now, as with any product, it can be used or misused, but applied by a licensed contractor, you can be sure that it's going to work well for you and be safe too.